Hello, let's look at the method of smoothing the age structure of a population. Why smoothing? First, why just irregularities in data caused by false statements in age as a result of one or no data of birth during census. When you are taking census, there are some persons that do not know their date of birth. They don't know when they were born. They just assumed and they give the date. The second reason is falsification of age. They know the date. But sometimes, because of superstitious belief, they feel, oh, nobody should know my date of birth. They will give you a wrong date of birth. Then so for some other reasons, they will just give a, a date of birth that is not actually theirs. And some will feel, oh, why do they want to know my date of birth? So when this happens, and you have your census figures, you discover that there are some persons that have given their age and do not really fall into that age group. So how do you now walk around this? It's for you to smoothen out the age structure that has been given in the, uh, the census uh, population. So to do this, you have a a formula and the formula of working out smoothing out the age population is this this is a formula you may not need to cram it just study it and master it now what does SO represent that is the number in the age group under consideration you know census is being broken down, when you are now looking at the census figure, it's broken down into age group. For example, a 0 to 4, age 5 to 9, and so on. So when you have that a 0 to 4, for example, you want to smoothen it out, you take that group. This is what this SO represents, number in the age group under consideration. So if you are having 0 to 4, it means ages 0, 1, 2, 3, and four are in that group. Now we'll have again S1 and X2 in the lower part. If you look at it here, you have S1, X2. These are the number in the two age group following the age group under consideration. They are the number in the two age group following the number under consideration. Where we do example, I think to be clearer to you. There will be so you have minus one, minus two, as the lower case minus one, minus two, you have number in the two age group preceding this number that is under consideration. So we're going to look at how it goes, how it works. Now here, note that S minus one, S do not indicate that you are subtracting one or two from S. They are mere symbols. That is why it's highlighted in yellow. They are mere symbols. So it's not that you are going to subtract whatever thing that is from no. It's a symbol and it works together. Now, this is an example. Let's look at this example now. In this example, we are told smooth out the age group 10 to 14 from the data below. Now, we have been given data. Let us do this data is what we got from a particular census, a population that was captured in the census. And we have from a 0 to 5 down to a 25 to 29. Sorry, a 0 to 4, and then a 25 to 29. Now, in this instance, you discover that you have five five years that make gap that make it up. Because if you look at zero, you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 years. And the age other consideration, that is the one that is starred here, is 10 to 14. So it means those student the population that are age 10, age 11, age 12, age 13, age 14, they fall into this category. They fall into this category here. So that is the one we are considering right now. Look at it. The ages 10 to 14, this is the one we are considering. That is what we are considering. That is what we are told to consider here. So what are we going to do next? Right here, we bring out the formula and we're going to be substituting into the formula because we know the formula right now since we have known the formula 
The next thing for us to do is to substitute into the formula for us to be able to know the next thing that needs to be done. So remember, we have our formula here. So all you need to do, S minus 2, we are told that is the initial year. We have two years. So we have, these are the two initial years we have here. These are the two initial years. And that is why you are having 0 to 4 plus A2, because that is what we have here, 0 to 4. Then you have 5 to 9. 5 to 9. So this is what we have that we are bringing down here. Having done that, again, remember, if we look through this, we are talking about the SO. That is the year under consideration now, 10 SO. That will give us 10 into 10 to 14. Those are the ages we are considering. Then you open the bracket. If you go further, we are having 4X1. So the 4X1 here, that will be give us 4 into, what is the first thing here after preceding 15 minus 9? That is what we are, uh, sorry, 15 to 9 years age group. That is what you are putting down here. Then that follows the next one that is following minus X2. Remember the X2 is another year preceding it. That is age 20 to 24. That is what you have here. So now that we have known the ages that fall into the group, the next thing that is for us to substitute the figures that go. So for those that are ages 0 to, to 4, is 200,000. For those that are ages 5 to 9 is 175,000. That is why you are having it here. And for those that are uh, the age other consideration is 180,000. So you don't discover we substitute each of them like that until we get to the end of it. You have substituted all. So the next thing that after you are substituted, you start working out what you have. You solve this, bring you this, and you go on, you have this. So in this case, you are now having 1 over 60 into 3,120,000. So you work it further. That will give us, because if you use this to divide this, that is 1 over 16, divide it, that will give you 0 0.0625. So you now times it with this, because into bracket, that means times, and that will give you SO is 195,000. So what this implies is that this means that the actual population figure for this is 195,000 and not 180, which means there are some that didn't really know their ages. But with this formula, it means the actual population, the right figure that the planner should use, that we guide the planner, is 195 and not 180 as it was stated in the population census.